Hello, math students. It's Mr. Bourne. I am pleased to inform you that the less expensive TI30XS, which you can also access on the web, is capable of finding linear regression equations with lists of data. So let's see how this works. Press the key data, and this will bring you to the screen where you have three lists available to you. We are only going to use two of them. And uh, you can see we have a table of speed and stopping distance. So we're going to put in the values for speed. Just put them in one at a time and press enter after each one. So there's the seven items from the speed comm. I'll use the directional arrow keys to go up and put the data in for list two. Once you have both lists of data in, you just might want to look over them to make sure that you didn't make any mistakes and have the wrong numbers in and that everything lines up 35 to 136. And we see that that is matched up here. So it looks OK. Now, to calculate the regression equation, you're going to press the second key and then the data key, because when you press second, then it'll access the stat functions. And for this one, we want two var stats. Select it by pressing Enter and make sure that x data is set to list 1 and y data is set to list 2 and then directional arrow key downward to highlight calc and then press enter. Now what we've got here are two variable stats. You gotta scroll down on the screen a little bit. It's a little bit hidden but when you see it here it is. These two numbers here A and B. A is the slope of the regression equation and we can see here that it is the same 6.4857 and they round it off here they don't they only have four digits and that's perfectly fine and then the B value is the y-intercept negative 77 and so when you see the numbers for A and B you can interpret those to be the two important numbers in order to write a linear regression equation for a straight line.